architecture is uh, so it's a dependency injection and I want to do it in Dino just because I wanted to use TypeScript and not mess with config. Um, the app is in a is sort of a clean architecture. Um, it's a dependency injection uh, inversion of control, uh, clean architecture pattern. The app is abstract, so it can be done in any number of ways. The database is concrete. Uh, REST API takes this as an argument this imports both of these and constructs a REST API with this database on the fly. So the dependencies point towards the app, meaning the database needs the REST API and the REST API needs the app, but the app doesn't necessarily need this REST API or this database. It could, you know, it could have any variation of, and still work. So I'll just refer to my notes here. We'll run this command. There really is no package manager or anything like that uh, to uh, to keep track of. So I can just say open this in external terminal, and uh, I can drop this down now. Okay. Um, all right. So open this up an external terminal, run the command, and what it'll say is, uh, are you sure? Basically, oh, many times, are you sure, are you sure? I say, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Okay, we got an error. What is our error here? Oh, address is already in use. Okay, so I'm already running it over here. Okay. Let's close that, close this, try it again. Okay, well, let's just see how we run it on the example here. We'll curl it, okay, and then I'll show you on the uh, on the API REST thing. So no, no users, okay. This actually database is using a uh, an in-memory database. So now we create a new user. We'll just go to the last idea of that user. All right. Okay, <clears throat> uh, we could just do another like DF. All right, so it's a multi dimensional array. Okay, ID, name, and age are the three things. So if we wanted to do it here, we could uh, say get all. Let's see. That one and that one. We'll create a new one. Uh, SDF. If we try to do it multiple times. It'll say name already taken it has to be unique. So we'll just get that and see what we got. SDF. When I was running this in Node, it was throwing an error. I w like, I have this. Um, I have. Uh, condition in here that says a condition in here that says uh, that says okay actually I think it's in the API yeah, yeah, here it's in the API server it says that when the user hits the uh, post route check for the user if it already exists, then say name already a take take uh, already taken in return. Otherwise, if it doesn't meet that condition, create a new user, and then grab that and respond back. Um, but in the Node version, um, <laughs> the, so the logic's good. But in the Node version, I would hit this endpoint to create ASDF, for example, and I hit that one, two, three, four times. And it'll it would say, oh, did we lose our connection? Still going? Okay. Oh, uh, some 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 more on here. Okay, name already taken. But yeah, yeah, it would say name already taken. But when I checked, it was getting created. It was still getting created. 
So I don't know if it's because of the lag, but I want to tell you is Dino is much faster than Node. Like it is a million times faster. So it could just be the lag. Like my it was like breaking through the logic because it's going too slow. I don't know. Yeah. So there's there's that possibility. Um, okay. So yeah. Uh, so I just want to do class based inversion of control and the way I made it work in Dino was I just I just used the regular express but I just put npm colon in front of it and then just say Dino run the file or server is the file that actually brings it so it imports the database imports the app and it creates a new one passing the database as an argument to the it's not really a function, it's, it's a class. We're creating a new class and, and injecting the database dependency. And then we listen to it. Um, I don't know if it's, I mean, yeah. This is a little bit unique. Uh, nobody else's code has anything like this as far as I know because I made it myself and checked out a bunch of uh, different tutorials. And uh, I've never seen this pattern before actually. Um, of creating a class out of a, an express and then using um, the the routes as kind of like a um, just putting the routes in the constructor and having it be like a property of of the uh, of the of the class well of the object that will be made out of the class um, so these are so these are properties now and then uh, this listen method is outside of the constructor. So all of this, all this in the indent rainbow are all in the constructor. So all the routes, uh, so we create the, so it takes the constructor, it's in a database art constructor, creates a database, makes an app, use, and then use the database, uh, database to resolve the various, um, endpoints, right? So the slash endpoint is going to be resolved by fetch all. And then the slash users post route is going to be resolved by fetch one and then create. And then the listen is like a method as opposed to a property. And then uh, in server, just import. We, we import the database, the app, create a new app passing the database and then call apps only method which is listen with the arguments the port and the callback which is just console log just to let the user know yes you are listening listening on port 8080 and so that's how that works